Hi there, my name is Dr. Jones. Thank you so much for inviting me into your house today. I must say, absolutely lovely decoration you have going on in your house. A fantastic house, a fantastic house. I'm very jealous, in fact. I wish my house looked as good as yours. Now, obviously, uh, it's a bit unusual for me to do home visits, but uh, for you, I don't mind making an exception. It's a little bit exciting for me as well to get out of the office and uh, to be exposed to a new environment, I suppose you might say. Anyway, I think we should address the issue, uh, the reason why you phoned me and asked me to make a home visit to see you today. So apparently you've bumped your head, is that correct? So what exactly happened? How did you bump your head? I see, I see. Terrible accident, terrible accident, but it doesn't sound too bad. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look too bad. There's no uh, excessive bleeding or anything like that. Very good sign, uh, but obviously you did the right thing in uh, getting a doctor to check you out, of course. Best to get them looked out, looked after, just to see, make sure you're okay. Okay, uh, so before I do anything, I'm going to put on some gloves, some latex gloves, just to make sure that uh, everything we do today is nice and hygienic, even though I'm in a, in a different environment to my office. Uh, you know, obviously things are non-sterile, not to suggest that your home is filthy. Not, not, in the, not the case, not the case at all, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, my office is a very sterile environment, a very controlled environment. Uh, but still, we will try and practice good hygiene today. Very happy. 
happy, very happy indeed with what I'm hearing uh, with your heart health and your lung health. So we're off to a very good start indeed. Okay, so unfortunately today I wasn't able to bring all my equipment with me to your house, um, but I do have enough to perform the cranial nerve exam that I'm doing on you today, okay, to check your head, to check the little bump on your head, to make sure that uh, no damage was done to you, okay. Let's start off using the deck of playing cards, okay. Okay, so first of all, I just want you to identify the color of this card for me, please. Red or black? Very good. I'm just going to do that a couple of times with you. Okay, so the color of this card, red. Very good, very good. We shall do it just a couple more times, just a couple more times. The color of this card, black. Very good. And let's have a look. What about the color of this card? It's red. Okay, marvelous. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to tell me, please, the number that this playing card represents. Okay, so what number is this card? It's a number five. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. Let's have a look. And what about this card here? What number is this card? Number four. Very good indeed. Okay, just a, just a couple more times now. No problem, no problem. Oh, oh it's a bit of a storm outside. I think I can use some, some thunder, some thunder and lightning. Uh, okay, so what uh, what number is this card? Number seven. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. Okay, uh, one last card. One last card for me, please. What is this number? It's number eight. Number eight. Very good indeed. Okay, that's enough with the playing cards. I just wanted to see how your eyesight is working there, if you can see color correctly, and if you can see, if you can read the small letters on the card. Okay, so, off to a pretty good start, I must say. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to keep your head nice and still for me, please. And I'm going to hold my finger up, and I'm going to move my finger in various different directions. And what I want you to do is I want you to focus your eyes on my finger, okay? I'm gonna change to this finger. Focus your eyes on that finger for me, please. And now follow the finger as it moves, using only your eyes. So do not move your head, keep your head nice and still, but follow the finger, okay, as it moves. Very good job indeed, very good job indeed. Let's switch fingers. Very good, keep going, keep following the finger. Excellent, excellent. Now, are you experiencing any pain or any eye strain whilst you try and follow this finger? Not feeling anything bad at all? Keep following, keep following, very good. Okay, so you feel okay right now. No headaches, no headaches. No, no eye strain, no pain, just behind the eyes. No pain, just behind the eyes. Okay, okay, so feeling good so far. Excellent sign. Now I'm just going to observe your eyes. Uh, if you could look uh, to your right, I believe it is. I hope that's the, the correct, the correct way, sorry. Sometimes I get my left and my right confused. But if you could look at my finger, which I think is to your right. Very good. I just keep looking at it for a moment. Okay, now look at my finger over here, which I believe is your left. It's your left, I think. Look at the left finger. Uh, just looking at your eyes, the whites of your eyes. The extremities of the eyes. Okay, very good. If you could look up at this finger, up here, up here. Very good. Thankfully, I do not get confused between up and down. So at least I've got that much going for me. Very good. If 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a finger like that and when I click it I want you to focus your eyes on the click, on the click of the fingers, okay? And it's going to be changing different places, different places, it's going to be random. So your eyes should be focusing over here now at these, at these fingers here, okay? Very good, very good, let's keep going, let's keep going. It's going to be random, which one is it going to be? Which one's going to click? Which one are you going to have to look at? Okay, very good, very good, very good. I'm looking at your reflexes, the speed at which you respond. Very good, very good indeed, let's keep going. And also, when you make a fast certain movement with your eyes, when you focus your eyes in such a, such a fast way, I want you to pay particular attention to see if you feel any eye strain or pain, any headaches, anything like that. That's what we're looking out for today, realistically speaking. Okay, okay, so you've done pretty good there. Ah, one last one, one last one to, to trick you, but you did well, you did well. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to focus both your eyes on my finger and I'm going to be bringing my finger closer to you, very close indeed in fact, and then further away from you, okay, but continue to focus on my finger at all times, at all times, and this time I want you to tell me if you see two fingers at any time. So we're looking out for double vision during this little test. Of course I only have one finger up, but if you see two, that is a little bit concerning. Okay, so... How many fingers did you see during that? Just the one all throughout, all throughout, even when it came very close to you. Even when it came very close to you. Very good. Okay, excellent. And now I actually want to split your vision, so to speak. Check 
and I want you to tell me the number of fingers that I hold up, okay? Uh, again, focusing on my nose throughout this one, okay? So, here we go. Very good. Very good. Very good. 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 Marvellous.
close your eyes for this one please and I want you to tell me which side you hear the pen click on okay hopefully you can hear the pen click over the sound of the loud motorists outside your house very loud road outside your house isn't it that's that's not very good is it otherwise a beautiful house though beautiful house otherwise okay but if you could close your eyes for me now please close your eyes for me now which side could you hear the pen click on Uh, 